what's happening crypto fam happy happy tuesday good morning and welcome back to love for crypto i'm scott it's a pleasure to have you here i appreciate you taking the time to consume the content so thank you this morning i want to do another little follow-up on songbird situation um all my hands up i was using the wrong wallet yesterday um so i had it in my head i'd used my metamask when we um, did the flare thingy on Zoom, I had it in my head that I'd use MetaMask. I'd clearly not. Because <laughs> if you watch the video yesterday when we set it up, we don't see the song burn. And I was like, did I miss a step? Did I not miss a step? So I stepped back and I realised I didn't miss a step. I did it all properly. And if you'd have copied me in the right what? Excuse me. In the right wallet. You would have seen your song burn. <clears throat> so, thanks to the people in the comments and the messages who said they did it exactly the same as me and actually saw the song burn. As I was receiving the messages, I was realising I had um, kind of done the wrong account. So, I'm going to show people, if you're struggling, how to just take a step back and be like, shit, which, which wallet did I even use here? How the flaming hell am I even going to find out? You can. It's okay. It's okay. So I'm going to flip the camera again, like we did yesterday. And you will see the account I had up yesterday. Um, I mean, look, the flares, they're there, ready to send. Um, ready to get them, sorry, and it's the wrong account. So they ain't never coming there, and they never were. So it's a good job I actually had to have a look in it. So you saw yesterday we added a Songbird account. If you want to go to yesterday's video on how to add this, um, the Songbird network, the Canary network, to your MetaMask, follow yesterday's video, and you will see your SGV. However, if you didn't use MetaMask, and like me, you used a MyEFA wallet account linked to a ledger, but you want to see it in MetaMask. You're like, well, actually, I've got used, to, I've not used that my for wallet for absolutely ages. I want to get used to, um, I've got used to using MetaMask. I want to use it in, in flaming MetaMask. All right. So, if you know my for wallet, you'll either have um, hardware wallets the, the 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 key store file you'll have the phrase whatever but you've got a way to get into this my for wallet mine was ledger hardware right how did i know it was that one well if we come to xrp scan to your wallet now, this wallet you'll have to have right. This will have to be the right wallet because you're going to come to one of your the XRP wallet that you set up the flare drop with. You're going to click on the flare. We've got flare spark distribution. I was under, the, like, this is your address you've used, or oh, it's my address. And you should have the songbird here in the address. All right? If we click this, it takes us to the Flare Explorer. Same address. There's my songbird. Same amount. Yeah. So what we need to do is recognize it's that Ether address that it's going to. All right. This one here, this Flare address. Which I established was my Mew wallet. So, what we have to do is go to MetaMask. Account. Not network. That's network. Account. Account. Yeah. You can now see my Ledger 2. Legacy hardware wallet. I can click on that. We are awaiting the FLR. It's got a tiny little bit of ether in. There's ether's always there for gas in it. People know that. Gas money that. 
But we come to the songbird one now. We're actually seeing the songbird. So we've linked the Mew account to the MetaMask account through the ledger. How, how, how do we do that? Well, it was below if you didn't notice. We've got the accounts here. Create a new account. Import an account. Or connect an account. Yeah? Connect the wallet. Bish, bash, bosh. Done. Yeah? I'm just going to cancel that because we can actually go into different wallets of the device. If you know why my for wallets actually got like five different wallets connected to it. So I can change the wallet. Um, but yeah, I'm there. We're in. We did it. We did it. Yeah, we saw it. We figured it out in the end. It was, yeah, it was a little tedious. Not going to, not going to lie. It was a little bit, well, shit. Where's my fucking wallet? I could have swore I used that that wallet account one. I could have swore I did. Luckily, after thinking about it for a little bit, and I'm gonna look here to realise, well, there's that's that's got to be the wallet. So I went searching through my Mew accounts, and lo and behold, I found the motherfucker. I must admit, um. If you've got that many Ether accounts, you're actually not sure which one it is. Copy it. Go to Etherscan. That is the FLR contract, by the way. If you want to add FLR to MetaMask and you haven't already, as the contract name. Um, but we're gonna come up here. We're gonna we're gonna drop that wallet in, and it will actually tell you tokens. So if you know which tokens you've got, you know ERC twenty tokens. If you actually know which ones you've got in a certain wallet by copying the address, scanning the address, you can actually be like, well, yeah, they, oh, yeah, I remember them tokens are in it. That, that's the one I need to be doing. Smashing, absolutely buzzing, like a giant bee. So what the hell, Songbird? What's a canary network, mate? What the hell? Well, I've got a write up here from a while back that they did. I'm going to have a cheeky little read through the first um, initial first couple of paragraphs or so. And then you can, can have a little read of it on your own if you want. There is a decent little bit of information out there on it at the moment, to be honest. So, we are excited to release our updated plans on the development and launch of Flare. At Flare, we've been conducting extensive testing of the network and various core Flare protocols that are intended to provide utility. Our testing has now reached a point with many elements where more can be understood from further testing on an isolated test network. We will now progress to live testing on an operational blockchain in an adversarial environment. In the next six weeks, we'll be releasing a Canera network for Flare. Called Songbird. What is a canary network? I hear people ask. Well, a canary network is an operational blockchain with a defined and hence scarce token supply. It's intended to be used as test feature features for related mainnet. On a canary network, users have a balance that cannot just be replenished at will. This is in contrast to a testnet, which generally has an unlimited token supply available in increments to any user through a faucet. Now, if you've used Ethereum, any testnet, and the, the, the custom flare and was doing that, and we was just using the faucet to get three, free flare or free Ethereum, or just got free token from fucking anywhere, and it was just, yeah, use the faucet, and it's just going to give you bullshit tokens. Well, psh, not around here. Not round here. We ain't playing games like that round here. This is a, a canary network. Is an active, active operational blockchain with a scarce amount of tokens on it, an infinite amount of tokens on it. Not finite. You just pull them out your ass whenever you want. That's why they're gonna have value and be tradable. Ooh. The defined and scarce token supply may confer value to the token, potentially making it attractive to attackers. <clears throat> Such that testing is a real, as real as it can possibly get, sorta. 
This allows for the hardening of the system under testing. Polkadot is the originator of the Canary Network concept with their Kusama Network. So shout out to Dot. Shout out to Dot for changing the game. Actually, not as long as I thought that. What's the purpose of Songbird then? Songbird's a canary network for Flare. It will have two distinct phases prior to the launch of Flare. Songbird will be instrumental in the continued testing of Flare Time Series Oracle, the state connector, the F asset systems, and the network architecture. The FTSO and the F asset protocols will be live on Songbird with F assets generated from the underlying tokens. This will improve the security, stability, and credibility of the ultimate launch of Flare. Post Flare Launch Songbird is intended to be a long term network for testing governance led changes to Flare, such as the incorporation of new F assets, changes to the FTSO, F asset systems, or any other network change. Very, very interesting. So, it is, it is worth noting that the Songbird network is currently in an observation period for, for the six days, excuse me, for another six days till the 27th. Shit, my MOT is doing the next few days. I've not even booked my car in. That's another problem for another pocket. Six days till the observation period ends on the 27th. That's when we will see Songbird go for trading on Bitru. And I would I would hope I would hope we see the first flare airdrop. The first official flare airdrop not long after the 27th. I mean they said Q2, then they said the end of September, and now I've got Songbird before Flare, and I didn't even know what Songbird were three months ago. And now all of a sudden, I've, I've, I've got him. <laughs> I've got him, but I've not got my Flare yet, so it's it's been <laughs> it's been a bit confusing for some people. <clears throat> and other people have just been impatient about it and just thought, you know what, fuck it. i have fucking waiting too fucking long for all this shit. And it wasn't surprising if not some people have even just flogged all their ass. At XRP, and I just waiting to sell all these as and when they drop. People gonna do what they want when they want, so it's one of them. If you were still having problems getting your uh, songbird balance to show, let us know in the comments what's going on. Did you use my for wallet? You're struggling to connect it to MetaMask. Did you use? Did you use some a ledger and you've just been locked out? You don't know what's going on. Give us a shout in the messages. We'll we'll try and give you an hand. Um, I got it worked out in the end. It, it's it's just got to step back sometimes and just be like, what the, what the fuck am I not looking at here? And you you'll get there in the end. You'll find it. It'll be sweet. It'll be legit. And we'll all <laughs> we'll all walk off into the sunset with our spark and songbird together, eh? Love it. Love it. Links in the description if you want some more details on the article I was just reading out. I've got to get Red F or college, baby. We are back in school. What? <laughs> Fucking doing GCSEs again, mate. What's going on? Madness. It's got to be done, though. And why are we doing it? Because we're investing ourselves. Invest in yourselves. Better yourself. Invest in the internet of value. Break away from them bills, baby. Yeah. Live long and oddly all. Get it staked, get it baked, lived off the rewards. Legacy value, baby. Generational wealth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know the dance. Want to enjoy the rest of your week. We love crypto. We love the internet of value. And we love you. So take care of yourself. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.